Today, let's dive into two aspects of our ecosystem. First, let's cover development at Mainframe. And second, we'll highlight some recent milestones we hit with Sablier, our token streaming product. First, development at Mainframe. When we set out to begin developing the first implementation of the Mainframe lending protocol, we chose the principles we would use to dictate decisions throughout the development process. The principles we chose were time to market and second, simplicity. Simplicity is important because it helps reduce the complexity for formally verifying our code base. And second, it reduces complexity for our security audit, thus contributing back to accelerating our time to market. So as we looked at these principles as a team, we recognized that if we put off implementing the guarantor pool until the next phase of development, we could accelerate even further our time to mainnet. So by the time you're watching this, we are submitting our code base to Quantstamp for our security audit. What impact does this have on our roadmap? Well, it's exactly as you would imagine. Everything shifts forward. In a couple weeks, we'll receive back the report from Quantstamp, make any necessary changes, begin our private beta, and then launch into an open public beta. This is really exciting for us at Mainframe. As we've rebuilt our team and built the protocol, we can't wait to see what you do with it when we launch. So now let's talk about Sablier, our real-time token streaming product. As teams have looked for more fair and transparent ways of distributing resources to both team members and investors, they've turned to Sablier. At the time of recording, there are over $45 million in assets under management in Sablier. This is huge. We couldn't be more excited by the trust placed in us by teams like Mstable, Shroom, Sushi, and Harvest Finance. So in summary, we continue to see growth and adoption for Sablier, our token streaming product, and we'll be on mainnet with our lending product sooner than we thought. If you want to join the private beta, join our discussion in Discord and keep an eye out for details.